what's up everybody it's your boy samoski today i'm back again with another tutorial for you guys so today i'm going to be showing you how i made this nigerian i'm a piano beat so it's not a serious beat but it can get serious yeah my piano is not uh, very difficult to make if you have your shaker your drums you don't need to be precise about the percussions you're going to be using just get uh if I just listen to three different mama piano and then you're gonna get it sinking in your head and you can start making yours. So mama piano beat doesn't need you to have real knowledge of piano or musical foundation in order for you to make them. So when you want to make your mama piano beat, you just have to start off with your shaker. Get a shaker sounding like this, a tambourine shaker, something like this. So the tempo matters also depending on the style you want to do so our um, piano starts around the uh, one 110 to 117 so i'm using 117 uh, once you get your shaker done like that you add another shaker to it which sounds like this both of them sounds the same but different feeling you get then i have a loop here i'm a piano loop drum loop which sounds like this so i'm not relying on uh, the content of this percussion loop so i like to even if i'm using loops i like to add uh, some percussion to it like here i have my percussion which i created which sounds like this So you see, together with this drum loop, this is what it sounds like. So I didn't rely on the drum loops. A lot of you guys, you rely on your drum loops, so don't rely on it. So let me add the tambourines, uh, the tambourine and the shaker. This is what it sounds like with the drum loops. In fact, the whole percussion, this is what it sounds like. So if I should take away this drum loop, this is what it's going to sound like. So I didn't really do much because already in the drums, the in the drum loops, there are a lot of things going on. So I'm just spicing it up with my own ingredients. So let us add uh, this uh, vocal chop. Yeah, you know, you should do that all the time. So then again, I added uh, this low frequency bass, the sub bass, which sounds like this. So this is the main progression of the song, of the beat rather. So then I added uh, this cool uh, instrument, just like this. So I had this feeling going in my head while I was making this beat. I started off like this and I was I was thinking of something that is going to uh, give me that emotions in the beat. So So this was going for about uh, eight bars. Then I added more sample, vocal sample. It sounds like this. So this is what it sounds like in the beat. <laughs> So while the percussions were playing, I thought of adding a little bit of change to the percussions. That's when I brought in this dude here. 
So in the percussion, this is what it sounds like. You understand? So while the vocal is going yo 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 yo, 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 yo. yo, yo, yo. that's when I added the log drum to respond to to this vocal. The log drum is not responding to the beat. I did it because of the vocal there. You understand? So everything in context, this is what it sounds like. So when I got to this point, I had to uh, let everything drop. So that's when I added uh, this effect. Then I added uh, the progression again. So this voice sounds like. it sounds like this so when you're making a beat you just have to be creative you don't need to put a lot of stuff that is going to uh, conflict it's of it to conflict let it uh, let them go in agreement with each other you understand let them don't fight let your instrument not fight it uh, then I, I, I needed to make the log drum shine a little bit more that's when I added a snare to the log drum which sounds like this so with the log drum this is what it sounds like so i felt like before making the log drum shine i needed to uh, uh, get a different tone of the log drum so you know the log drum has different textures like this is one of them you understand so it's something i did here you understand So at this point, I really, I really needed the beat to explode, like for it to get that feeling of explode, explode, explosive, like I needed to explode. So I need to do the drop here. Uh, I think when this beat was done, I would have made made uh, some Afro beat drop, like do you understand? <laughs> yo so thank you guys for watching this tutorial if you love what i'm doing please don't forget to subscribe share this video with your friends if you need a beat like this you have to contact me my number is in the description of this video you can reach me on whatsapp you can email me see you guys on the next tutorial have fun learning signing out peace